Creationists often use the term evolution to refer to the entire naturalistic view of origins, usually going from Big Bang to man. Creationists often use the term evolutionist to refer to those who believe the Big Bang to man naturalistic view of origins. Recently, creationist usage of the terms evolution and evolutionist have come under attack by opponents of creation science. The claim is that evolution only refers to biological evolution, which only goes from a first cell to man. It is further claimed that creationists are either ignorant or misrepresenting the term evolution. It goes on to insist that abiogenesis, planetary formation, stellar formation, and the Big Bang are all independent disciplines unrelated to evolution. Contrary to these claims, creationists fully understand that these are different disciplines, and we do not misrepresent the term evolution. It is simply wrong to claim that they are not related to biological evolution, since they form one complete view of origins. In fact, they are all referred to as evolution by mainstream sources like NASA and the National Science Foundation. Now, they use distinguishing terms like biological evolution, chemical evolution, planetary evolution, stellar evolution, and cosmic evolution. See the references in the description. Biological evolution refers to the development of life. Chemical evolution refers to the origin of life. Planetary evolution refers to the formation and development of planetary bodies. Stellar evolution refers to the formation and development and death of stars. And cosmic evolution, which refers to the beginning development, and possible end of the universe. It is sometimes used by itself to refer to the entire Big Bang to Man concept. Note that they are all labeled evolution, so it is not inappropriate to refer to them all collectively as evolution and its proponents as evolutionists. In fact, the terms evolution and evolutionist are often used by creationists simply due to the lack of better terms. Personally, I have used the terms general evolution and general evolutionary theory specifically to help avoid confusion.